American Express has finally listened to its customers. Hey everyone, Eric here, and welcome back to this week's What's Happening in the Credit Card World. Where I give you updates to the news that you'd otherwise might miss due to various reasons. The last thing I want as a credit card YouTuber is for my audience to miss out on potential rewards and deals that would have otherwise given them even more cash back when using their own credit cards. And while all this information can be found on websites like doctorofcredit.com or onemileatatime.com, some people just don't have the time to read it all. So consider this an audiobook or a visual book for weekly updates about the credit card world that just might pique your interest. Granted, some of these deals and updates might expire by the time you watch these videos, so please make sure to subscribe to keep up with the latest news. Also, if you're interested, there's a giveaway going on right now with extra wallets. All you have to do for the potential to win one of five extra wallets of your choice is to one, subscribe to this YouTube channel, two, subscribe to Extra's YouTube channel, and three, comment down in the comment section down below about which Extra wallet you want and why. This giveaway will end on November 23rd, 2022, so good luck. So with the entrance being done, let's get into this week's what's happening in the credit card world. Chase has finally updated with some historical max sign-up bonus offers. The Chase Inc. Business Cash, the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited, and the Chase Sapphire Referred have gotten some new sign-up bonus offers and some of them are very eye-catching. First is a Chase Sapphire Reserve with a limited time offer of 80,000 ultimate reward points after spending $4,000 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. This card is Chase's premium travel credit card and comes with a hefty $550 annual fee. Now, I personally wouldn't recommend getting the Chase Sapphire Reserve until Chase does some upgrades and revamps this card to become more competitive versus the other premium travel credit cards on the market today. But if you're strictly going for that sign up bonus offer, I don't disagree with that route. It comes with a $300 travel credit that's easy to use, so realistically, you're only paying $250 out of pocket. Plus, if you are able to use its other credits like a $100 TSA pre-check, global entry, or Nexus fee credit, you're only ultimately paying $150 out of pocket for 80,000 ultimate reward points. The other two Chase credit cards that have historical max sign-up bonus offers are the Chase Inc. Business Cash and the Unlimited. Both were initially offering 90,000 ultimate reward points after spending $6,000 within the first three months of account opening, but the catch was that you had to actually physically go into a Chase branch in order to get this sign up bonus offer. Now it's being pushed out online, so for those of you out there that are starting a business or need a new business credit card, now is the time to get one. The difference between the two are that the Inc. Business Cash is a 5% cashback card in select business categories such as office supply stores and on internet, cable, and phone services, and then also 2% cashback on gas stations and restaurants. While the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited is similar to the Chase Freedom Unlimited where it earns you 1.5% cashback for every purchase you'll ever make. Both are no annual fee business cashback credit cards and great for those who are starting a business. Next, literally each of American Express's and Hilton Honor credit cards have limited time sign up bonus offers that you'll definitely want to hear about. The Hilton Honors card, which is Hilton's no annual fee card, has a sign up bonus offer of 100,000 bonus points plus $100 in statement credits after spending $1,000 in purchases within the first three months of account opening. The Hilton Honors Surpass, which is Hilton's mid tier hotel credit card, has a 130,000 bonus point offer plus $0 intro annual fee after spending $2,000 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. Originally, this card has a $95 annual fee, but with the sign-up bonus offer, you won't have to pay that fee for the first year. Next is the Hilton Honors Aspire card, which is Hilton's premium hotel credit card, has a sign-up bonus offer of 150,000 points after spending $4,000 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. This card includes things like $250 statement credits, four Hilton hotel resort purchases, $250 airline fee credit, free night reward each year of card membership and priority pass select. And finally, the Hilton Honors Business Card has a limited time sign up bonus offer of 130,000 Hilton bonus points after spending $5,000 on purchases within the first three months of account opening, plus a free night reward to use at any Hilton family of hotels after spending $10,000 in purchases on the card within the first six months of account opening. Additional perks include the chance to earn two additional free night rewards when you spend $15,000, that's for the first night, and $60,000 for the second night within a calendar year. You can also get upgraded to diamond status after spending $40,000 on the card within a calendar year. And finally, with another interest rate hike from the Federal Reserve, I wanted to give an update on the highest earned savings accounts and CDs out there. Capital One 360 Savings now has a whopping 3% APY savings rate, 
it's no question now that Capital One is coming out ahead in terms of giving high yield APY rates. And other benefits that this bank has are things like no monthly or maintenance fees and no minimum to open and keep your high yield savings account. In a video I made two months ago, Capital One had a APY of 1.5%. So it's a good thing to see that they've doubled since then. Wealthfront has increased their rate to 3.3% APY for their cash account, which is insane considering what everyone else is offering. You're also FDIC insured for up to $1 million and has no monthly fees and no other fees as well. Ally Bank has now raised their APY to 2.5% compared to the 1.75% in the video from two months ago. They've also updated their CDs to 4% APYs for CDs of 18 months and later, and also 3.1% for no penalty CDs. With the stock market and the economy continuing to tumble every single day, now is definitely a great time to put your emergency funds into a high yield savings account if you haven't already done so. All right, who's ready for the lightning round? Ready, let's go. Frontier is launching a all you can fly go wild pass, which includes an unlimited number of flights with access to all of Frontier flying destinations. It looks like these passes will be available for flights beginning spring 2023, and there will definitely be a limited number of passes available. We still don't know how expensive these passes will be, but people have pointed out that seats being confirmed the day prior will be a deal breaker for a lot of people. For those interested in getting I-bonds, Treasury Direct adds 0.4% fixed rate to I-bonds. The great news about this is that this 0.4% fixed rate will be fixed for an entirety of a 30-year term for I-bonds you buy. Meaning for whatever the I-bond rate changes to in the coming years, you'll always get whatever the rate is plus 0.4% on top of that. Compared to if you had bought I-bonds before October when they were 9.6%, 6.2%, you'd only be earning 6.48% interest rate instead, not the 6.89% interest rate if you were to have bought right now. Ally is joining the credit card world with three credit cards that are currently invite only. These three credit cards are called Ally Unlimited Cashback MasterCard, which is a no annual fee 2% flat rate cashback credit card, the Ally Everyday Cashback MasterCard, which will earn you 3% on gas stations, grocery stores, and drugstores with an annual fee of $0 in the first year and then $39 after, and the Ally Platinum MasterCard that is a no annual fee credit card that doesn't earn any rewards. Pretty lackluster launch, Ally definitely needs to do a better job in coming out with more of a bang if it wants its customers to get these credit cards. What's not lackluster are the new sign-up bonus offers for the Chase Southwest personal credit cards. For the Southwest Rapid Rewards Plus, Premier, and Priority credit cards, there's a sign-up bonus offer of 75,000 points after spending $3,000 on purchases within the first three months of account opening. Whichever card you ultimately choose to personally get, the coveted Southwest Companion Pass is only 125,000 points, so any of these cards will do the trick in getting you super close to that goal. And speaking of extra points, Alaska Airlines and Lyft have partnered up. Now you can earn 2x miles for every dollar spent on Lyft rides until the end of this year. You can pick between Hilton, Delta, or Alaska points, but you can only pick one partner at a time. The $300 Equinox credit that comes with the American Express Platinum card starting from 2023 will now change from a $25 monthly credit to a $300 annual credit. Definitely a lot easier to use for most people as you can get six months free for online memberships. For those that don't live near Equinox Gym, the $300 credit could be useful in buying some sportswear at the Equinox shop online. And finally, both Chase and Capital One have some new transfer partner bonuses. For Chase, it's 30% transfer bonuses to Aeroplane and 40% to Marriott. And for Capital One, it's 20% transfer bonuses to Accor Live Limitless and also British Airways Avios. All right, those are all the relevant deals that I've seen for the week of October 31st, 2022. If you found any of the information within this video to be helpful, make sure to swing over to that subscribe button and click it to help support this channel. Also, if you're interested, make sure to participate in the Exeter giveaway. Again, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to Exeter's YouTube channel, and comment in the comment section down below about which wallet you want and why. This giveaway, again, will end on November 23rd, 2022. These videos will come out every single weekend on Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern time. That's 9 a.m. for those of you on the West Coast. Thank you for watching as always. Until next time, everybody, stay safe out there. Peace.